Hi guys, I'm just going to answer the 10 questions I've been asked to answer. The first one is, how long have we had the plot? Well, we got it July 2014, but didn't really start any work on it until the end of August. Next question, how long did we have to wait for the plot? We only had to wait a few weeks, but the plot was already empty and available, but the person dealing with the plots were on holiday. And the plot that we took on, no one else wanted. So there were still people above us on the waiting list, but they refused to have our plot. So which worked out pretty good for us. Um, where did I learn about gardening? To be honest, it's been mainly YouTube and backing it up with books. Um, mainly Sean's, Sean's um, channel, the Hawk channel, Blue Star Dave, Claire's Allotment and like the ones that have been around for a while I watched first and then found loads of new YouTubers which were very helpful. Number four, do you plant a winter garden? Um, well we have kale, swede, sprouts, turnips and obviously overwintering onions and garlic. So we've still got some to eat so that's all good. Number five, what has been our biggest success this year? That will have to be Sarpo Mira um, and they're keeping very well as well and also the onions but the onions were just the ones we got from Wilco's and put in nothing special but they've done marvellous number six what's been our biggest disaster well sweet corn I planted a variety and left them on the left them on the plant and um, kept checking them and they weren't quite done. Anyway, I left them as long as I could, took them off, opened them, and thought these are really weedy, and just threw them away. And I wish I hadn't, because I watched um, Claire's allotment with her sweet corn, and they were popcorn sweet corn, and they were meant to look like that. So I threw them all away for no reason at all. Um, seven. Do I have a tried and true variety that I always grow? Um, well, it's our first year, so not really. But we are loving the kale and the chard in the smoothies and juices. Number eight. Are we planning on trying anything new next year? Definitely going to do some different varieties of peas. Because they weren't that good this year. Number nine. How do I preserve our crops? Mainly using the freezer, I've got myself a vacuum pack machine, which has worked out really good for the um, beetroot. And I suppose, and we eat it as it as we take it off the plot. We eat what we can. Number ten, what are our favourite meals to cook with veg from the plot? Well, I would say it would definitely be a stew, because I'm a vegetarian, so I eat a lot of veg, or I like them roasted. But Michael and Charlie like it all roasted, a big roast dinner. Well, that was quite quick for my answers. I know everyone else has taken a few few more minutes than I have. But um, I'm getting burnt near the fire and I want to go to bed. Then I... Oh, I'd like to put the challenge to Dan at the Allotment Diary, Chris's Allotment Journal, Claire's Allotment, and Joan from Mrs Doyle's garden. Bye for now.